Greetings bike guys and bike gals. Well once again we're taking out a new bike today and going to do a little bit of a uh, break in on it. But I just thought I'd show you where we were riding at. Stick around. Well, welcome bike guys and bike gals. Hey, we just got this new uh, TSE 300 from GPX in. This is one of the first ones in the country. We were able to get our hands on it and I wanted to take it out and break it in today. I did a walk around video. Um, we might be able to put a link in the, in the description so you can see the walk around on it. I just did a quick walk around on it here before we went out riding and um, I'm going to talk a little bit about my first impressions on this 300. So I'm pretty impressed with the bike um, thus far. It's, it's well built, it's got good suspension, good brakes, and this is a new 2 GPX motor, and it's a 300cc two-stroke power valve. Um, it's carbureted, um, and then they have that trick pipe on there and that. So I'm starting off here, this bike's only got a couple of miles just plunking around um, in the pit area, in the staging area, and getting, getting it broke in. I got about four miles on it, so I don't want to hit it too hard. But I did want to get a feel for this motor, because if you followed any of the GPX stuff, you'll know that I'm already impressed with the way these bikes handle, and I'm impressed with the way the suspension works, the brakes work. But this new motor is going to be a game changer. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people interested in this this new bike because the 300 seems to be the best all-around motor size you can get in dirt biking. That's Joel's opinion, of course, but um, it, they'll keep up with a 450, and you can idle them down like riding a 200 or something. But but it's just right in that nice sweet spot the motor is. So anyway, as the motor broke in a little bit. I ended up putting Garrett on the two-stroke. He wanted to try it. Let me flag him through here. And Garrett is um, doesn't have a lot of experience in riding. He's only been riding a few years, and he's just learning some things. Garrett's from Colorado, so his, these kind of trails are a little weird to him. And uh, But I wanted to ha follow him a little bit. So you can kind of see how stable the bike is and stuff. The rider's not stable, but the bike is. Uh, and I'm riding the SWM uh, RE300. And uh, this is one of my personal trail bikes, the RE300. And I've been wanted to compare the two because they're both 300 cc's. One's a four stroke, one's two stroke. And I thought it might be a really good comparison. So. The two-stroke has a much more powerful mid-range, and, um, and it revs up a lot quicker than the four-stroke does. The four-stroke makes similar, well, not quite as much horsepower as the two-stroke, but it makes plenty of horsepower for a 300 four-stroke. And uh, But they rev at different ranges. So this two-stroke in that five, to 6,000 range is making really good power. If you let it rev out, it'll pull really hard. Um, and then the four stroke, I have to rev that thing up to seven, 8,000 RPMs to get the same amount of torque to go up those hills. Now, if you know the differences between four strokes and two strokes, they do, don't rev the same. And I really liked the way the uh, TSE 300 would, uh, come right up on the pipe and pull real well. It has good low torque. Um, maybe not as much low torque as some of the European brands, but but the mid-range and that above that is all really good. It's got plenty of mid-range or uh, bottom end torque. It's just their, theirs seem to be just a little more refined on the low end. But this 300 engine is going to be a game changer for GPX. It's a neat engine. It makes the kind of power that experienced riders are going to enjoy. It's still tame enough for 
uh, an inexperienced rider to ride. And like, so Garrett didn't like me following him, made him nervous, so I went on by, and he's behind us here. So I'm on the uh, SWM 300, and we're just riding on uh, sandy trails, hilly area, obviously, and, and that both bikes are stable, they both have good suspension, good brakes, and that, but comparing the two motors, it was pretty interesting to do it side by side. And uh, I hope that if you have questions about the TSE 300 or the RE 300, you'll just get a hold of us. The uh, best way is uh, email. You can um, do the comments here on the videos. That always works. And listen, guys, we're almost a thousand subscribers right now, and we would like to get a few more so we can go over that thousand subscriber mark. So would you share these videos with your friends? Because if you share them, they will subscribe and then we'll go right over that 1,000 subscriber mark. And uh, we're looking forward to 2023 being a good year. We're going to have a whole bunch of variety of stuff, different bikes, new bikes, um, different types of riding trains and all kinds of things. So stick around. We really do appreciate our bike guys and bike gals that join our our videos and, and if you have comments or ideas for us please get in touch and we will talk to you soon thanks a lot